Each week, American History TV's American Artifacts takes you to museums and historic places. Next, we visit the National World War II Museum in New Orleans to learn about the USS Tang and her crew, a submarine that conducted several record-setting missions against the Japanese in the Pacific Theater. USS Tang was a submarine that was built in 1943 and commissioned in 1944 during the Second World War. She was uh, a Baleo-class submarine, which at the time in 1944 was the most modern submarine of, of the day. Uh, she was very, for her size, she, she was a rather large submarine. She had a crew of about 87 enlisted men and officers. And um, her sole main purpose was to patrol the Pacific Ocean and sink Japanese shipping. And while this exhibit here is focused on the USS Tang, in particular it's focused on the 5th Patrol, in which, which was the most successful patrol of any U.S. submarine in history. Um, on the 5th Patrol, Tang set out on the September 24th through October 24th. You'll see it's only a month long, and uh, she sank more ships on that patrol than any other submarine ever did, and she almost doubled her own personal record of, of scores. Uh, by the end of the fifth patrol, the Tang had sank a total of 33 enemy ships, which is a total that has never been eclipsed or anywhere, anywhere close to that. Um, the fifth patrol ended with her final torpedo. He had encountered, Tang had encountered a, a Japanese uh, convoy on the night of the, 20, night of the 23rd, morning of the 24th of October, and he employed his familiar tactic of surfacing in the middle of the Japanese convoy and attacking at night and sinking as many ships as he could. Um, unfortunately, uh, he'd hit several ships and damaged one in particular was a freighter, and the freighter was sinking, but it wasn't sunk. It was dam damaged, heavily damaged, listing, and just kind of sitting there. And O'Kane was not one to let anything just sit there, especially when he had two more fish in the tube. He had two more torpedoes. He fired his final two torpedoes, and on the final torpedo, as it left the tube, it, clear, it cleared the boat and got out several, several yards ahead of the submarine. And the submarine's cruising on the surface now at very slow speed. And as the, sub, as the torpedo clears the submarine, it starts to turn around and boomerang, if you will. And the guys on the bridge atop the submarine can see it, O'Kane being one of them, another one being uh, Chief Boson's mate, William Leibold. They could see the torpedo, and they could see that it was coming right for them. It was actually coming back, right back towards the tank. She's coming in! She's coming in! This exhibit is placed here in remembrance of the 52 American submarines that were sunk during the war. And the wall behind me lists the names of all those sailors who served aboard the submarines and who did not come back, as what the Navy and the Submarine Force calls their on eternal patrol. Uh, they, their bodies have never been recovered. Their submarines are still at the bottom of the ocean. It's, it's very, very important that people understand that these guys aboard the Tang and the guys aboard the 51 other submarines that sank during the war died to preserve our freedom and they, they sacrificed themselves then for everything that we have today.